Hi, this is Carrie with Carrie's Classroom Creations, and today we're going to be painting um, some coffee art. And we're not painting a picture of coffee, we're painting with coffee. So, um, I have some instant coffee, I have a cup of water, and I have a little, a couple of these little um, ramekins. And um, I'm going to be using different amounts of coffee in the water to create different values of the brown. Um, so, um, I have a bunch of different sizes of paintbrushes, and um, I have my water cup, and I'm ready to go. So, I'm going to start off by getting, um, I have some water in this one already, and I'm just going to put in um, some scoops of the coffee. and stir it up with a paintbrush. And I have in front of me uh, the observational drawing that I did earlier this week. And now that I have a scoop of coffee in my water, I'm going to test out my different values on a uh, piece of paper. So let's see how dark we got this coffee. That's, that's a good amount. So if I want it to go darker, then I would add more coffee. And if I want it to be lighter, then I add less coffee. So as uh, I'm teaching my students, um, if you guys are using coffee, that's great. If you don't have coffee, other things that you could use are um, tea, you could um, brew some tea or use tea um, leaves and um, and then you could you could even use soda. I've told them you can use Gatorade, you can use green tea, you can use herbal teas, um, anything that's going to have a color. So the more that you have of it and you can add more to the water, the darker that color will be and then the more white or water that you add to it, the lighter and more like water that it will be. And we want to have that because it's going to be, it's going to be like painting with watercolor. So um, I'm letting this dry a little bit so I can get some different values. Um, I'm going to have one that is a little less coffee. I want a really light value. Um, so I'm just going to get a tiny, tiny bit of this coffee. And this is instant coffee so that it... Um, dissolves a little faster and uh, now I have a much lighter color. So now that I have a lighter color and a darker color, I'm going to get started painting on my observational drawing um, that I did earlier this week. I have a paper towel for dabbing and um, I'm going to get started. I'm going to start off with the lighter color first. Um, we do that with markers, we do that with colored pencils. Um, I'm gonna start with the lighter color first. I'm gonna just pretty much go over most of my drawing with this light color. Um, and so I'm 
going to do that now. Um, I can get some great values just by using um, beverages that I have around the house and using them like you would watercolor. Now I can start going in and doing my designs. I can add a little more coffee to this one to get some darker values, but once again, I'm going to wait for my coffee cup to dry. Um, I will show you guys a picture of the finished product, and I hope you enjoy making your own creation with coffee. Have a great day.